So the book's called The Art of Activism. Your all-purpose guide to making the impossible possible. Everything has an art to it, right? And activism has an art to it as well, okay? And this is really our take on how to be good activists. Yeah, I think we've been doing this for 12 years. We have been doing it for 12 years. And it started as, let's make a book. <laughs> that is, that's right. I'd forgotten that. It started as a book, and then we realized we actually kind of don't know enough to actually write a book. Yeah. And so we spent 12 years <laughs> trying to figure it out. Trying to figure out and testing it. Because I think that why the book works is because it's not just us sitting in a room thinking about, oh, what would be good? It's like these come out of 12 years of us teaching this, of people reflecting back to us, of learning stuff from other people. And it's like all of that stuff crammed into a book form. Yeah. So going back, like you were an activist, I was an artist, we were doing this work, we wanted to get better. We started researching it and thought, oh, this would be an interesting book. And then realized we had to keep doing more of that. 12 years later, we've taken all these lessons and things that we've learned from other people and mistakes we've made and everything and put it into something that I think could help other people. You know, what's on our minds is who are we? Two white, middle-aged guys from, from New, New York, York City to write a book about activism. And we thought about that. We talked about that. And one of the things we realized is like, this isn't our book. It is a collection of experiences and lessons that we've learned from history, that we've actually learned from interaction with other activists. And yeah, we put it together, but it's common property. And that's how we want us to look at it, which is it is something which comes from people and should go back to people. Yeah. And we encourage people all the time to reuse these lessons yeah. and ideas. And I think I've been really uh, worked hard and also been really lucky to work with the people that we've worked with, but that shouldn't stay with us. Yeah. You know, it needs to, it needs to spread further. An important part of this book is that it comes from my disappointment with activism and Steve's disappointment with art. My disappointment with activism was here's this life changing, world changing activity that I was part of. And it often seemed boring and unimaginative. And for art, you know, I don't want to speak for you, Steve, but I'm going to, you know, Art was creative, amazing, and so on and so forth, and speaking to the choir. So what we wanted this book to do is kind of meld those two things and bring some of the creativity of the arts and also the sort of action orientation of activism and put those things together.